Light is a luxury these days. For Kausar Sebed, this is the only way to go about her business, using candles she normally saves for birthdays. For the past month, the electricity cuts two or three times a day for hours at a time. The food in the fridge has gone off. Medicine she needs to keep cool, now spoiled. And without air conditioning or fans, it's sweltering. Every day, morning and night, before and after prayers, the power cuts. I make a meal and then throw it out straight away. It's so expensive. This is the first time this happens and it's only since this new president came. He said he'd make things better, but they are worse. A lot of people are complaining. Power cuts across the country can last for days in some neighborhoods. There's also a shortage of fuel and water. Some have stopped paying their bills in protest. It's not just poor neighborhoods that are experiencing power cuts. The problem is just as bad in affluent areas. The Prime Minister is urging families to save electricity any way they can, including by using just one room in the house. The government says the problem is the poor infrastructure and difficulties faced after the uprising. Power cuts have been occurring for several reasons. Firstly, the lack of security has led to theft of electric cables. Also, high temperatures naturally lead to an increase in consumption. And we were set to launch two new power plants this year, but the projects have been delayed. On the street, there's a very different opinion as to why this crisis is happening now. As soon as the new president took office, the trouble started. The ministry officials are trying to embarrass him and ruin the country. Why during Ramadan are the cuts worse? It's as if someone is trying to upset us. The government is good, but some are trying to turn the people against the president. Whatever the reason, people are angry. Shops and businesses will soon be forced to close early. High unemployment and rising prices in the past 18 months have made life hard, especially for the most vulnerable. These recent shortages only adding to their mounting worries. Shirin Tadros, Al Jazeera, Cairo.